शुक्रा ब्रह्म विचार सार परमा जगद्यापिनी वीणा पुस्तकधारिणी अवयदा जाढ़्यांधकारापहा हस्ते स्फाटिकलिका विदधती पद्मासने संस्थिता वंदे तां परमेशरी भगवती बुद्धि प्रदा शारदा न्वा सरस्वती देवी शुद्धा गुण्या कौम्यहम पाणिनीय प्रवेशा लघु सिद्धांत कौमुदी फर्स्ट फोर सूत्र अलॉंग विथ दियर पाठ वेर बी सॉरी महेश्वर सूत्र सो हलंत्यम हलंत्यम इत अदर्शन लोप तस्य लोप एंड आदिर अंत्यन सहेता इसे अरियर आई मेन्स दिस हल इन ऐ उ ऑल दिस सूत्र देर इज दिस हल हियर विच हेज अयर एंड देर इज अ ह इन हट The purpose seems to be, uh, as I was mentioning, that uh, there is some technical reason. One of the reasons that we know now is that this halantyam, this sutra, halantyam it, it we can bring from the earlier sutra, upadeshe janunasika it. So it comes from there. So halantyam it we know. But what is hal? Hal we can't know hal as a consonant. Really, we cannot know. With this sutra alone, we cannot know unless we land on the four sutra that we saw yesterday, which is Adi Rantiya Na Saheda. So unless you know that uh, that the Adi hi, this Adi hi in hal Adi hi Antiya Na Ita Saha, this Antiya Na Lakara Lakara, which is here Lakara Na Ita Saha, that will get this Pratyahara as ha and Madhya Ganam Cha. It will become sanya bhavati. So hal is a sanya from this hal. By hal I mean the hoyavar thakara and the lakara of the last sutra hal. Unless I reach the sutra adjen adir ante na sahita, till then I cannot know that hal is a consonant. I cannot know that hal covers all of these consonant uh, consonants, two daksharas. But just by this first sutra halanthya, what do I know? This is the only hal I know. Till then, this is the only hal I know. And antyam hal, by this, what I can actually make sense of, without the lagubhuti, and even with the lagubhuti, upadeshe antyam hal itsyat. This hal itsyat is what hal. That hal I can understand only as this last sutra. This last sutra hal itsyat in this this antyam. Hal antyam hal itsya in this hal also I have to do a lakshana and say this in this antya is lakara this lakara is it is an it letter and then further the next sutra says adarshanam lopa ha and tasya lopa ha tasya kasya lakara sya antya lakara sya lopa ha in hal so I'll have to say in hal in this hal sutra antyam antya lakara antya will be Uh, ante bhava, ante bhavam, ante, and that is lakara here. That lakara undergoes elision. This is all I know till then. Till I reach the sutra adi rantiya na saheta. Once I reach the sutra adi rantiya na saheta, then I can come back to the halantyam sutra and then reinterpret that as what this hal can be possible from the first lakara to the last uh, hal lakara. So the hal is not this hal. But then I can take this hal because now I can form a pratyara hal which will stand for swasyaja madhyagaram. So madhyagaram, all this from yakara to all of this, and then swasyaja sanya bhavati. This hal will be a sanya for all the consonants, and then I can say halantyam. It will mean then the ending laka, ending not only lakara but all all the consonants in this sutra in upadesha. In Adi Adi Uttaran Upadesha, this Upadesha, I mean, this 14 sutras in this Nakara is it, Kakara is it, Nyakara is it, and so on. I can make only after I land on the fourth sutra in the Lagu, which is Adi Rantiya Na Saheta. So that's the technical reason. Uh, if we know hal generally in the language, we already know that hal is a consonant, which is a vowel. How we do not know, but we know. 
So, uh, since we know we can interpret the first sutra without dependency, but really there is a dependency between these two sutras. Halantyam, Halantyam has a dependency on Adirantyana Saheta to make the Pratyahara Hal with the Hayavarat Sutra and the last Lakara in the Hal. And Adirantyana Saheta has a dependency on uh, this sutra because this sutra or any sutra which is uh, saying what is it that it, it introduces this letter, uh, this word it. So Adi Rantina Saha, till I don't know what is Ita Saha. It, I don't know what is it, till then I cannot make sense of this Ita. What is Ita? Ita is third case singular, even if I know, I do not know what is it, unless I know the Sutra Halantyam, or in Lagu Halantyam, or in Ashtadhyayi, I need to know uh, the Sutra which says, um, Upadeshe Janunasika It. So it is introduced there, and in Lagu, it starts with halantyam it. Therefore, halantyam has anuritya of it. And till I know that sutra and thereby know it, I cannot interpret this sutra. Thereby, there is a anyonya ashraya among these sutras. Anyonya has a mutual dependence among these sutras, halantyam and adirantyana saheta. That's a technical part. I just wanted to mention it to make it complete. So, that was the third sutra we saw. The fourth sutra. Uh, I just open the book. Yeah. So the fourth sutra, it says, to copy this. So this fourth sutra, uh, not not fourth sutra, fifth sutra. So fifth sutra is what? Is ukalo jhraswa dirga prutaha. Ukalo jhraswa dirga prutaha. There is a sandhi here. Uh, what is the padachyada is? Ukalaha is the first pada. Ukalaha Ach Ach Hraswa Dirga Pluta. So there are three words in this sutra. Ukalaha Ach Ach is this Chakara has become this uh, Visarga has become O. Has become O when it is followed by a vowel. This Ach when it is followed by A it becomes uh, when it is this Visarga is sandwiched. When we are reading, when the Visarga is sandwiched between an Akara and another Akara, then it becomes O. By multiple sutras, we will see in the Sandhikarya, but the Padacheda is U Kalaha. U is Dirga. U, U. So U is Dirga. U Kalaha. And U Kalaha is what? U Kala Ach. Ach. Ach is a vowel. Please know now that uh, Ach is a vowel by the first. First few sutras, ayun, rinruk, ao, ai, auch, and by till ai, auch is ach. From ayun till ai, auch is is a set of sutras which introduced vowels, and ach is a vowel. So any vowel, so ach is any vowel, and u kalaha is what hraswa dirga pluta. And this is a mind you, this is a sanya sutra. Thereby sanya sutra means what? Some sanya is being given. What is the sanya given here? Hraswa Dirga Plutha. These are the, this is the Sanya given. So, Ach Hraswa Dirga Plutha. And what does the uh, Vritti say now? Look at the Vritti. It says, Uscha, 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 Vaha. So, U, Uhu Cha. I will not split this. Uhu Cha, Uhu Cha, Uhu Cha. So, this U, is Hraswa. Hraswa and this is this is a short ukara. When I say u, so u u a a e e u u. So this u u u is the short u, and this u is u dvimatra. So what is the difference between u and u? There is a difference in matra. Matra is in the time duration for which you pronounce a vowel. So this vowel that you pronounce ukara, whatever time duration a person uh, pronounces it at any point of time. So one may uh, speak faster and change the time duration. It, he may speak faster, thereby each matra will become shorter. So matra is just a unit of time that is taken to pronounce. So if you pronounce a short vowel for one unit, one duration unit, for one unit of time, that matra is one matra. And U is what? Dirga. U, U would be two matras. So A would be one matra, A would be two matras, and then Similarly, U would be one matra, U would be two matras, U 
there is this three mark here this dirgha ukara with this three mark here is pluta pluta is another pluta means uh, it's it's a long uh, it's a three matra three matrika ukara it's a it has three matras three units of time so compared to ukara ukara is twice the uh, unit of time one has to pronounce and u pluta is pronounced for thrice the duration of time of the short vowel now these have a sanya and where is the application generally this u no, uh, not u I'll, i'll come to that okay so this uscha 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 there are three things so how would uh, these three combined look like when you combine ukara and ukara when you add them together you will get something called as savarna dirgha sandhi just like akara and akara becomes akara you add say uh, uh ramah so ramah and say arunah so ramah and aruna if you want to put together in a samasa rama and aruna if you say then ramaruna it will become ramaruna rama akara and aruna akara will become dirgha ramaruna similarly here u and u if you put together so if you put u plus u together you will get u if you put u and dirgha ukara together still you will get u if you put earlier if you have a dirgha and then you have a uh, short vowel still it will become u and if you have both dirghas even then it will become u now we do not know what happens with pluta so savarna dirgha sandhi means savarna savarna will come to in uh, next few sutras we learn on what is savarna savarna is all this u short u dirgha u and this pluta u are all savarna and savarna dirgha sandhi means whenever savarnas come in contact with each other in a sandhi situation when they are pronounced in close proximity then there is a dirgha sandhi so they will be replaced by dirgha so not only this but even if there had had there been a pluta as in u u u so u, u or u3 three, three is pluta plus u u or u3 pluta is equal to u it will not be pluta it will not be 2 plus 3 five matras it will not be 1 plus 3 four matras it will not be 3 plus 3 six matras it will be two matras so raswa so two we don't mark as two it is dirgha u so ukara ukara or ukara ukara and any of those three put together will still be dirgha so this is replacing any of these so all of these are replaced by just a dirgha now when it is replaced by dirgha then these would be what all three put together would be ukara will be dirgha ukara by a sandhi sandhi rule so now that is why you have ukala here this u is what this u is actually uh, the dirgha u why dirgha u in a samasa because it stands for all three it stands for all three and all three will become dirgha u now how does this u decline how does the dirgha u karanta shabda decline any u karanta shabda when you decline you will know how dirgha u declines so even if you take guru hraswa let's take for example hraswa since uh, we may remember hraswa Uh, ukara the dirgha ukara will also have the similar kind of a declension not exactly same uh, uh, it has uh, uh, has differences but then dirgha ukara pullinga we don't know vadu shabda in sri linga we know is uh, and then u also there is a pullinga shabda but not commonly used commonly used we know vadu shabda dirgha ukara anta so if you see what is the plural of that that would be uh, like u uhu u u uh, uh, vadhu vadhu vadva so vadhu u vau vah in sri linga we know but we know whether it is whichever linga it is we know in the plural it will be vah it will be vah therefore uscha 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 are three three is a plural in sanskrit uh, two is not a plural two is a dvivachana but three are plural bahuvachana so bahuvachana will be vah so in the vritti lagukara says uscha 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 will become vah they are vah and vah is plural so this is what 13 13 of which shabda of u shabda of u 
it is of u shabda it is 1 3 why u because of this following rule that savarna dirga sandhi okay so u shabda it is 1 3 and then vam kala in shashti bhogachana you will get vam kalaha vam vam kalaha iva kalaha yasya vam kalaha iva kalaha yasya saha ach kramad hraswa dirga prita sanyasyat so when we uh, did the padacheda i didn't mark the numbers what is it prathama ekvachana u kalaha u kalaha and then ach is also prathama ekvachana and hraswa dirga prita is also prathama ekvachana what is it being what is, is saying is that this this matras u kalaha is what u kalaha u kala is the kala has time the time that is taken to pronounce u what is that u u is uscha 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 so the time taken to pronounce ukara ukara or ukara so raswa dirgha and pluta one unit of time two units of time and three units of time so one matra Dvimatra, Ekamatra, Dvimatra, Ekamatrika, Ekamatrika Ukaraha, Dvimatrika and Trimatrika Ukara, whatever is the time duration taken to pronounce that. So that is what Vam, Vam is of these three, which three Ukara, Ukara and Ukara, of Raswa Ukara, Jirga Ukara and Pluta Ukara, what is the time taken for each of these respectively, Kalaha Iva, Kalaha Iva Kalaha. Yasya Varnasya, yes, Yasya Varnasya or Yasya Swarasya, Yasya Swarasya, whichever vowel has a time duration equivalent to, because why, why yes, Ukala will not be just uh, uh, the Kala of Ukara, why not Kala of Ukara, Ukara and Ukara, why not say that, that Vam Kalaha Yasya, why not say Vam Kalaha, why is Vam Kalaha Iva Kalaha, because this kala of u, if I say the pronunciation time taken for guru, guru shabda is of guru shabda. Just because you have another shabda which has, which you are pronouncing, you take same time, still that time of guru will be time of guru. Similarly, the time of ukara will be time of ukara. It will not be the time of akara, it will not be time of ikara or rukara or hrikara. The time taken for Ukara is the time of Ukara. Time taken for Ukara's pronunciation is time taken for Ukara's pronunciation and so forth. Therefore, this Ukara, Ukara and Ukara, they are taken as examples and given that whatever time is taken for to pronounce these, they are their own times. And similar time there is for others also. So whatever time is taken for Ukara, Ukara and Ukara, that unit, that a varna which has similar units of time. So yasya, yasya, yasya swarasya. This can be any swara. Akara, ikara, rukara, rukara, any of this, of, of this, any varna. Varna is this swara, uh, swara varna. So yasya swarasya swara varnasya. So yasya swara varnasya. Of any swara varna, if there is a time which is same as ukala, ukala or ukala, then saha ach, yes, yes, varavarana says what, yes, ach, ach is the swaravarna. So I have replaced this ach, yes, yes, achaha, actually yes, yes, swaravarana sya, achaha, is equal to achaha. So this is yes, yes, achaha in shashti ek vachana. So vam kalaha, eva, vam is what, of all these three. Ukara, Ukara and Ukara will become U, Dirga U and Dirga U in Shashti Bahu Vachana will be Vam and Vam Kalaha Iva Kalaha Yasya. So comparison, that Swara, that vowel which has a time of pronunciation as the time of these three, Ukara, Ukara and Ukara, Saha Ach, that vowel, Kramad in sequence respectively, respectively, Raswa Dirga Plusa Sanyaha Syat. So, that will have raswa dirga, that ach, that vowel will sequentially, in sequence will have what kind of a sequence is what, what is the sequence? Uh, let's take example of ikara, let's say this ach is yasya ikarasya, yasya ikarasya kalaha vam kalaha iva syat, whatever kala is there for vam, vam is for u 
and u is u u and u there is rasva dirga plutha i am already using rasva dirga plutha but this sanya is introduced here in this sutra that vowel ikara ikara or ikara will have the sanya as rasva meaning ikara will be called as rasva now ikara will be called as dirga and ikara will have plutha plutha sanya it will have this so rasva rasva sanya dirga plutha dirga sanya and plutha sanya sanya yasya achah asti sa achah sa ach rasva dirga plutha sanya sya so this is a bahuri this will be bahuri and it will mean what this it will mean so it will mean rasva dirga will be rasva sanya rasva sanya rasva sanya dirga sanya and pluta sanya so i'll say rasva dirga sanya pluta i'll make again dwandva each individual will be rasva sanya dirga sanya pluta sanya yasya yasya achah sah ach sah ach what rasva dirga pluta sanya so sanya rasva dirga pluta sanya sya this is the bahuri samasa so that vowel basically what does it mean any vowel any vowel which has a time duration equivalent to the time duration of the ukara which is equal to ukara 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 that will be called as rasva dirga or pluta respectively we do not know what is the reason for ukara being taken but there must be a reason uh, all these these details have to be seen in Uh, in uh, tika so it will take a long duration to study tika etc we do not know why but there must be a particular reason for him to pick ukara so he ta- takes the example of ukara and that ukara is taken as example whichever vowel has the duration equivalent to ukara uh, is has the has the uh, uh, ha- will get this rasva dirga and pluta sanya respectively okay so that is the introduction of rasva dirga pluta sanya so rasva dirga pluta is this sanya and sanya is this ach whichever ach is ukala ach ukala ach is ukala is equal to ach ach is a, this ukala is also bahuri like gajamukha gajamukha is a samasa this ukala is like a gajamukha samasa what is gajamukha it is not gajasya mukha it can be but gajamukha when you say gajamukha we say ganapati why is gajamukha ganapati is because he has do we say that he has gajas mukha literally by story we can say he has gajas mukha but we say that he has a mukha like the mukha of gaja so a gajasya mukham eva mukham yasya sah yasya ganapate he sah ganapati hi gaja mukha so it will actually the samasa would be gaja mukha mukha because there are two mukha similarly here also ukala would be Uh, vam kalah iv kalah yasya uh, that will be what actually u kala kala it will become u kala kala because we have kalah iv kala there are two kalas so it will become u u kala kala and then one kala is dropped by another rule where there is a repetition you drop one just like in gaja mukha mukha one mukha drops off and then you get gaja mukha so here you get u kala so question okay uh yeah actually that's a yeah there is a kukuta uh, is an example given but then uh, we don't know whether that's the example kukuta does not say u u it says ku ku so the ukara is there in that but uh, the kukuta itself comes from that uh, the, the derivation of kukuta is like that that kukuta says u u u so uh, it's right ukara may be taken for that reason because uh, uh, in the morning the kukuta uh, So makes a sound and it makes a sound in rasva dirga and pluta so rasva dirga pluta there in the derivation of kukuta itself is ku 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 it does so there u is there by that it is explained and that's the reason that ku is there so that may be uh, so sumuki is saying that meeda ji had explained this i have heard this but then i do not know whether it is uh, for ukara it is uh, for rasva dirga pluta this kukuta derivation it is mentioned that way okay so 
that's how we get Raswadirga Pruta Sanya. Further, there are three sutras which we'll read together. So these three sutras are Ucher Udattaha, Nicher Anudattaha, and Samahara Swaritaha. Okay. So, Uchair Udattaha, Nichair Anudattaha, and Samahara Swaritaha. Now, these are Sanyas introduced. The Swaras. There are Swaras, and Swara here does not mean vowel. It means the it means uh, the Ucharana Swara. The, the, we have Vedika Swara. Similarly, there was Swara in the Sanskrit language. The, uh, the Vedika Swara itself came into the language also. Because Sanskrit itself comes from Vedas. And uh, uh, the uh, Swaras were there in Laukika language also. That is lost in the tradition. Currently what we have, we have like these, uh, uh, we have the tone. So we say this intonations, we say tone. So in which tone did a person speak that gives away the person's mood. So we have for excl exclamation, we have a particular mood. We have uh, some kind of a mood, uh, some tone gives away anger. Some tone gives away uh, says nothing, you know. So one is, is sad and there is a different intonation. So these were there in the Laukika language also, but the language has lost the Swara. So much so that Vyakrana Shastra also has lost Swara. Vyakrana Shastra itself, the Sutras themselves had Swaras and by Swaras, the, I had mentioned yesterday that Adhikara was differentiated. That is also lost in tradition, unfortunately. Uh, so these are introducing the Swaras. Uche Udattaha. So Ucher Udattaha says, oh, just a second, so all three together. Okay, so these sutras are introducing Udatta Samya, Uchehi Udattaha, Nichehi Anudattaha, and Samahara Swaritaha. So what is it saying? It is saying that uh, there is, now if you look at it, even in the Vritti, in the Laghu Vyakya, there is, all these three sutras are combined and there is one Vritti. Sa nava vidha api pratyekam anunasikattva ananasikattva abhyam dvidha. Now these three, there is an Udatta Swara given. Udatta Swara is that which is Ucchaihi. Ucchaihi, uh, what that, that which is pronounced. The, the Varnaha, the Swaraha, which Swara, which has been said Ach here, all these, all these Ukala, Jaraswadirga, Pluta are three divisions of Swaras now. So, all of these Swaras don't have Dirga, Pluta, Raswadirga, Pluta, all do not have. In the, in the Swaras, in the Swaras, in A, E, Un, Akara has a Raswadirga, Pluta, Ikara has a Raswadirga, Pluta, Ukara has a Raswadirga Pluta. So each of these would be what now? Nine. And after this, there is Ai Un. So Ai Un, this Un and Ru Ru follows. But then all Swaras do not have Raswadirga Pluta. Rukara has a Raswadirga. So Pluta may be there, Dirga may not be there. And there may be Raswa, but there, uh, there may not be uh, Dirga, there may be Dirga, there may not be Raswa. There are these possibilities. This Akara, Ikara, Ukara has all. Rukara also has all. So, A, A E, U, Ru, both, uh, all four have Raswa, Dirga and Pruta. Rukara, there is no Rukara, there is no Dirga. So, Rukara does not have Dirga. Ekara, Ekara is actually two matras. When you say A, I think in some languages, maybe in Kannada at least I know that there is a, a, there is a, uh, there is a bheza done, that haraswa, but in some, some
Okay, can you hear me now? Okay, so uh, uh, I think now this uh, internet failure is a regular feature. There's some power issue in the chain. So yesterday I was told that uh, there was a power failure and I think it's a regular feature now at this hour. So I've connected through my mobile internet. Okay, so uh, in the Swaras, Akara, Ikara, Ukara and Rukara have all Raswa Dirga Plutha. Ekara, Aukara, Aikara and Aukara don't have Dirga. And Pluta is, one example is, uh, in Laukika is when you call out a person. So, Rama, Devadatta. So, whatever is the last Swara, last vowel that undergoes Pluta, Pluta as in uh, three matras, generally when one calls out a person. That's one example used. There is one Sutra which says that. Otherwise, you see Pluta mostly in Vaidika usage. So, in this Ach, in Ach, there are... Uh, each of these vowels may not have many types, three types. If we have seen three types, Raswa, Dirga, Pluta, some may have only two. So, Rukara, Ekara, Okara, Aikara, Aukara have only two. They have either Raswa and Pluta, like Rukara, or they have Dirga and Pluta, like this, uh, I, O, A, O, I and O. So, I'll say H. So, H. This set is called as H. So, H among H, H will have no Dirga. Ru will have, uh, Ru, A, uh, E, U and Ru have all three, while Ru has no, no Dirga. So this is how the Veda, Veda is among the Raswa Dirga Pruta. Further this uh, Sutra says what, Ucher Udattaha, Nicher Anudattaha, Samahar Svaritaha. Here, uh, okay, actually I didn't cover the, yeah, so I didn't cover the last line here. So here this said what? Uh, Kramad Raswa Dirga Pluta Sanya said, and so Pratekam, Saha Pratekam Udattadi Bhedena Tridha. Tridha is, has three, is, has three types. What are the three types? Three types are Raswa Dirga and Pluta. Raswa Dirga, uh, so Sa Pratekam, Pratekam is each of these. Each of these, what? Each of these Ach vowels, each of these was Udatta di Bhedena. So Udatta, Lagukar has already used the word Udatta and thereby he brings these sutras Udatta, Anudatta and uh, Swarita. So he is saying this Udatta, Anudatta and Swarita, Swarita. These are the Bhedena. Udatta di Bhedena is what? Udatta, Anudatta and Swarita. These are the Bhedas. With this Bhedas, in this, this variety, they are threefold. So each of these vowels are threefold as Udatta, Anudatta, Swarita, based on what? Based on again, the number will vary based on which kind of a vowel, whether it is an H or whether it is A, E, U, R, or R. So there are three sets again and there may be all three, Raswa, Dirga, Pruta, each Raswa may be Udatta, Anudatta, Swarita, and thereby uh, there will be nine, 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 uh, nine different types of uh, swaras. Swaras themselves, they have savarna. Savarna will be, there will be uh, akara. For example, akara. Akara is what? Akara, akara and uh, akara has no, so actually, sorry, I'm, I'm just go back to this uh, slide of varnas. So, here you see a, e, u, ru, ru. But if you look at this a, a, a is when I had mentioned this a when you say a a is a a and a all are included. E is what e is e e and e all three are included and so on and so forth. Whichever raswa uh, dirgha or plutha variety can be there in a pronunciation of that vowel. Those kind of varieties are there and each of those, if there is a variety called raswa, for example, rukara has raswa dirgha plutha. Rukara does not have Dirga. So it will have only Raswa and Pluta. So each of these, whichever letter is there, whichever Swara is there, based on varieties of these Matras that the Swara has, those many into three because of Udatta, Anudatta and Swarita, Swaras, they will have Veda. So Rukara will, will be what? There will be one Rukara which is what? Which is, which is Udatta and there is another which is Anudatta and there is one which is Swarita. Because of intonation, 
they will differ. So there will be three. But there is no additional Jirgha, but there is Plutha. Plutha will be there. Only Jirgha is missing. So Rukara will be of six types. And Akara, Ikara, Ukara, Rukara will be nine types. Ekara, Aukara, Aikara and Aukara will not have Jirgha, but they will have uh, Raswa and Plutha. Therefore, uh, each of these will be six types and six types into then again there will be Swarita or so Ekara will have what? Will have two. Will have uh, uh, Raswa, will, will not have will not have Raswa, will have Dirgha and Plutha. Therefore, Ekara will have two types into three intonations. Therefore, there will be six types. So Akara, Ekara, Ukara, Rukara will be nine types. Rukara will be of six types. And H will be of nine types, uh, will be will be will also be of six types. So this will be of six types. So this entire set will be six types, and this entire set will be nine types based on the intonation, based on the swara. Sorry, I have to go up and down, so I I myself get confused. Okay, so this this is what the uh, introduction of the sutras is for, because Lagukara is saying each of these are what. Sa Pratyekam, Sa Ach, each vowel, Pratyekam. Pratyekam does not mean uh, each of these dirgha, uh, Hraswa Dirga Plutha, but if there is a Hraswa Dirga Plutha, in that each of Pratyekam Ach, each of those vowels, Udhattadi Bhejena Sridha, so they will have these Swara types, all, all three Swara types, but based on whether they have Hraswa or Dirga, they will be having different numbers. That's all it means. And now he has introduced what these three are and what it means is that Udatta is actually the pronunciation from the whichever sthana is there. We'll see the sthana will come up next. Uh, Kantha, Talu, these are the sthanas. And in whichever sthana, if it is pronounced from the upper part of that sthana, that is Udattaha. The lower part, if your pronunciation is from the lower part, it is Anudattaha. And if it, it has the qualities, it has the qualities of both the pronunciation from upper part and lower part. You cannot pronounce a letter, a vowel from you having both parts. You cannot use both parts and pronounce it. It's uh, humanly impossible. So it is saying Samahara will be what? They have similar features. Characteristics are similar uh, and this is learned only in the tradition. We do not know. Those who have studied uh, Veda Patha and especially those who have studied uh, the uh, uh, the Shastra of Ucharana, even just the, just someone teaches you how to uh, repeat, that is, that is not exact, exact uh, Veda Patha. Veda Patha in the Pata Shala, those who have stayed there and studied there, there they have their own rules. Each Shaka has their own rules. So thereby how Udatta should be pronounced, how Anudatta should be pronounced, how Swarita should be pronounced, these should be learned from the Guru. So I can't explain exactly how this is pronounced unless one has studied and it is not important for us because Swara in Laukika at least and in Vyakarana Shastra is also lost in the tradition. We know the meaning of the sutras by how it is taught in the Sampradaya. But basic meaning is what in print if you see Udatta is that which does not have any markings of Swara. That is Udatta. Nichir Anudatta. Anudatta would be that which has a uh, horizontal line at the bottom of the Swara. That is called as Anudatta. Samahara is that which has a has a swara mark as a vertical line on top of the uh, letter of, of the swara of a vowel. So these are the three Vedas and thereby each of this such vowels is differentiated in their swara. Saha Navavidho Api. So now it is saying Saha Navavidho Api Pratyekam Anunasikatva Ananunasikatva Bhyam Dvidha. So how is this Pratyekam? Pratyekam Saha Navavidha Api. So Saha. This so, Saha, Saha Navavidha, there is no Visarga here. There is one Sutra which says Saha and Esha. Saha and Esha may or may not have. Optionally they may or may not use Visarga. Therefore Saha or Saha both mean the same thing. Saha Navavidha Api. Navavidha Api means even being of nine types. Api, even being of nine types. How nine types? Because there is Raswa Dirga Plutha and Udatta Anudatta Swarita. This is a general statement. They may not, may or may not be nine types. There may be only six types because Rikara does not have Dirga and H does not have 
Raswa. So it can be six types also. So now with the api generally. Api pratyekam, pratyekam what? Anunasikatva, ananunasikatva. The samas, samasa and there is a sandhi, there is a dhirga sandhi here. This akara of tva and akara of ananunasika. Ananunasika is not anunasika. Anunasika is anunasika and ananunasika. Nasal, anunasika means nasal. So nasalized, ananunasika tva. Tva is, tva, tva is added tasya bhavaha tva. That tva pratya is added for tasya bhavaha. Having that quality. So having the nasal quality. A, a vowel having that vowel as in a vowel which is pronounced. A pronounced vowel having a nasalized quality means what? A nasalized vowel. So by a nasalization and by non-nasalization. Tabhyam. By. So this is Trithiya Vivachana. Tabhyam Vidha. Vidha. It is of two types. So this is of two types. What is the two type now? First we got Hraswa Dirga Pluta three types. Then that three types is multiplied into three more because of Udatta, Anudatta and Swarita Veda. So each vowel, each vowel as in generally, based on whether or not it has Raswa or Dirga, should be individually analyzed. But generally, vowel is, vowel has Raswa Dirga Pluta three and then three Swaras, thereby nine. And even if it is only nine, still Pratyekam, each of those will also have what? Each of these nine will have nasalization and non-nasalization. So you say it without nasalization, it becomes one set. And without, without nasalization is another set. And thereby, you have 9 into 2 now. So dvidha, it will twofold. And thereby, it will become 18. So, what we have got now is that 18, 18 types of akara, ikara, ukara, and then rikara also. Others will see, it will be mentioned in the vritti ahead. So thereby, we get uh, the bheda. So in this Ukalo Jraswa Dirga Plutaha, at the end of the Vritti, Lagukara said, Pratyekam Udatta Adi Bhedena Tridha. And he has used the word Udatta. We do not know what Udatta is. Therefore, he brought sutras to explain what is Udatta, Anudatta, Swarita. Swarita. So in this, now in this uh, uh, Lagu Vritti, where he is combining the commentary on or Vritti of three, three sutras, this Ucher Udatta, Nicher Anudatta, Samara Swarita. He is introducing another word here. Anunasikatva, Ananunasikatva. So Anunasika has been introduced here. What is Anunasika? We do not know. So he drags another sutra in and then he says, What is this? Anunasika and Ananunasika. So next sutra, he says, Here he introduces that sutra. He says, what is this Anunasika and Ananunasika? He says, Mukha, so the Sutra, Sutra is says, Nine Sutra says, Mukha Nasika Vachano Nunasika. Mukha Nasika Vachano Nunasika. And what does that mean? Mukha Nasika Vachanaha Anunasika. What is Anunasika? In the Lagurti, he has used this word Anunasika. We don't know, one may know, may not know. Anunasika, what is Anunasika? So Sanya is introduced. Anunasika Sanya, Sanya Sutra again. So, Prathama Ek Vachana. And what is that? This Mukha Nasika Vachana. Mukha, Mukha and Nasika. So, I'll just finish this Vritti quickly. So, Mukha, Mukha Sahita Nasikaya. Nasikaya Ucharya Manaha Varnaha Anunasika Sanya Syat. That is the Vritti of this Sutra. Says Mukha Sahita. Mukha Nasika is what? It is a Madhyopada Lupi. He makes a Madhyopada Lupi Samasa and says Mukha Sahita Nasika. Sahita is a Madhyopada. It undergoes Lopa. It is elided by a rule of Samasa rule and he says Mukha Sahita Nasika. Along with the Mukha, the, you use the mouth to pronounce something but you don't use your nose. But he says nose is also used and when you use the nose that becomes a nasalization of that Ucharana that you do of that vowel and there were mukha sahita, sahita is along with mukha along with the nasikaya. So nasikaya, mukha sahita nasikaya, nasika is Sri Linga, Ramavat, nasikaya is Tritiya, Ekvachana. So 
मुखसहित नासिकया उच्चार्यमाण वर्ण लेटर विच इज प्रोनाउंस बाय दि मौथ थ्रू दि मौथ ऑलवेज ऑल ऑल लेटर आर प्रोनाउंस थ्रू दि मौथ बट अलॉंग विथ दि नोज मीनिंग नेजलाइज नेजलाइजेशन दैट इज कॉल्ड एज अनुनासिक सो अनुनासिक संयस अनुनासिक संयस्य अनुनासिक और अनुनासिक सो अनुनासिक ये सेट अनुनासिक सो अनुनासिक संयस्य सह अनुनासिक संय व्हाट इज दैट वर्ण दैट वर्ण वर्ण हि स्वरा हि स्वरा बट वी कैन हैव इन वैदिक वी ऑल्सो हैव अनुनासिक फॉर समथिंग एल्स ऑल्सो मे और मे नॉट हैव देर फोर ही यू सेज इज वर्ण दैट लेटर इज कॉल्ड एज अनुनासिक दैट इज संय संय इज वॉट संय इज दिस मुख मुखनासिका वचन वचन इज दि अटरन्स मुखनासिका वचन इज संयी एंड इट हैज दि संय ऑफ अनुनासिक तदिथम तदिथम दैट इज इन दिस मैनर वॉट हेज बीन सेड इट इज इन दिस मैनर अ ई ऊरू एषा वर्णा दि फर्स्ट फोर लेटर्स दिस इज ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन प्रत्येक अष्टादश भेदा सो तदिथम हिज एक्सप्लेनिंग अनुनासिक संय एंड वॉट हेपन्स इज दैट the first four letters that uh, vowels that we saw a e u r u each of these have a hrasva dirgha pluta esham varna nam for these letters pratyekam ashtadasha bheda there is a ashtadasha 18 variety of 18 how 18 three hrasva dirgha pluta and then uh, udatta anudatta swarita three three into three nine and then nine into anunasika anunasika two will be 18 so therefore ashtadasha bheda 18 18 bheda ashtadasha अष्टादश इज अष्टादश इज दि प्रातिपरिक नकारांत सो इट हेज अनदर संय देर इज संय स्नाता षट एंड देन स्नाता षट इट्स अष्टादशन अष्टादशन शब्द एंड देन इट देर बी अ लुक सुप लुक हैपन्स सो अष्टादश लूज इट सुप जश जश्यशो लुक षड्यो लुक सो इट इट गोज सो देर फोर अष्टादश इज दि डिक्लिशन इट इज नॉट एन अव्यय अष्टादश इज नॉट एन अव्यय बट इट डज नॉट हैव अ विसर्गा देर बिकॉज वसर्ग कम्स फ्रॉम अ प्रत्यय दैट प्रत्यय इट सेल्फ अंडर गोज एलिजन सो देर आर एटीन वेराइटीज ऑफ अकार इकार उकार एंड रुकार रुवर्ण से द्वादश ट्वेल्व वाई ट्वेल्व बिकॉज इट डज ह्रस्त से दीर्घा भाव रुवर्ण डज नॉट हैव दीर्घा इट हेज ओनली ह्रस्व एंड फ्लूता देर फोर देर आर नो नाइन वेरिएशन बट ओनली सिक्स एंड सिक्स इन टू Six into uh, what? Six into two. There is there are two rasu and uh, there is rasu and pluta for ru varna and then udatta anudatta and swarita three swara. Therefore six and six into two nasika anunasika ananunasika. Therefore dwadasha twelve and acham api dwadasha. Ach is what? Acham api. Acham is shasti bhuvachana of ach. Ach is what? A o. So a ong a ouch. A ong a ouch we can be shorted to H has has the four vowels A O I and O so these four vowels what they are also of twelve types H A M O P dwadasha bheda ha dwadasha bheda why dwadasha again the tesha hraswa bhava they do not have hraswa they have dirgha and pluta they have three types of swara therefore six and six into two anunasika ananunasika therefore twelve. so this is uh, we'll do the next in the next part of this uh, tulyasya prayatnam savarnam is a there is a long vritti so i just wanted to finish the earlier till we reach there so this is the sutra that gives you varieties of vowels so so far we have covered the vowels and their varieties what are the varieties based on hraswa or dirgha absence of hraswa or dirgha there are 18 or 12 varieties of each with swara bheda as well as Uh, the matra bheda swara bheda and then anunasika anunasika bheda and these are the sanyas introduced ishudhi mangala charana in the end mrita avasane nataraj rajo nana dadakkan nav panchavaram uddhartu kamassana kadi siddhane tad vimarshe shiva sutra jalam any questions yeah so a o i o 
have do not have differentiation on matra if you say then are you saying there is no pluta there is pluta so pluta can be there where this pluta is used we, we may not know now if let's say a person's name itself ends in a how will you call that person let's say a person's name is uh, some some say brazilian name whatever let's say uh, let's say romeo let's say romeo is the name okaranta shabda you have to deal with that person say romeo you have to call romeo how will you call so you can't call romeo so you will call romeo what is that o oh, there is a pluta you can't shorten it you can't have a hraswa but pluta is definitely there okay so there is no hraswa there is uh, in laukika we use uh, dirgha for ekara okara uh, aikara and aukara but pluta is definitely there hraswa is not there okay